Our other lead story tonight, President Trump defends his decision to cede ground in northeastern Syria. He said today that he is lifting sanctions on Turkey after the Turks and Russia extended a ceasefire, while Syrian Kurds evacuate the Syrian border region. The president said the credit goes to his decision to pull U.S. troops from the area. By the moves that we've made, we are achieving a much more peaceful and stable area between Turkey and Syria, including a 20-mile-wide safe zone. Let someone else fight over this long, blood-stained sand. The president has faced bipartisan criticism that the U.S. pullout abandoned Kurdish partners and greenlighted a Turkish military offensive. For more on his statement today, we turn now to our foreign affairs correspondent, Nick Schifrin. So, Nick, you've been following this all day long. Where does what has happened leave everything right now on the ground in northern Syria? Well, well, President Trump is accurate that the region right now is relatively quiet. But Kurdish partners of the U.S. and bipartisan members of Congress ask at what cost. Here's what we saw today across northern Syria. Russian military police deploying to cities along the Syrian-Turkish border that the U.S. and those Kurdish partners freed from ISIS. Syrian regime forces going into cities that they haven't been in along the same border in more than five years. Years, and Turkey bragging that they made deals with both the U.S. and Russia and that their Kurdish enemies, they call them, are going to evacuate from a much larger area than the U.S. agreed. So let's look at that area that the U.S. agreed with Turkey on. That is the U.S.-Turkey buffer zone. It's 75 miles wide, agreed upon a couple weeks ago in Ankara. And let's look at what the Turkey-Russia buffer zone, more than 300 miles wide. Turkey promised to the U.S. it wouldn't go beyond what the U.S. negotiated, but obviously that buffer zone is much bigger. Turkey today saying that they would kill any um, kill any Syrian, Syrian Kurdish fighters inside that new buffer zone, and Russia said that would be okay with them. So that means that Turkey is abrogating the deal with the U.S. Now, I asked the senior administration official, hey, wait a minute, you promised to impose sanctions on Turkey if they abrogated the deal. Why is the president lifted those sanctions today, basically the official shrugged. He said that uh, Kurdish fighters would have to leave that entire area and said that's an issue for the Russians and Syrians who control the ground to deal with the Turks, not for the U.S. And efforts as well in Congress quickly to penalize the Turks for what U.S. officials say might be war crimes, those seem to be dying as well. And you were telling us, Nick, uh, that you also were following efforts by the Trump administration to reassure, in the face of all this, American allies uh, in the region. Yeah, this is interesting. So we've seen military officials in the last few days and State Department officials trying to reassure allies and partners that, as critics put it, the, uh, that the president abandoned Syrian Kurds. So they're trying to reassure that, no, you guys are not going to be abandoned. So we heard from the top military official in the Middle East today, General McKenzie, who was speaking in Washington. He said the U.S. strategic strength has never rested solely on U.S. might, but rather the partnerships and alliances that we have. And we saw State Department officials in the last few days go to Iraq. They went to the Kurdistan uh, regional government. And you can see the map there. On the right is the Kurdistan regional government. And on the left is the Kurdish territory in Syria. So we're talking about U.S. officials going to Iraq and visiting Iraqi Kurds. And a senior State Department official said the trip was to reassure our Kurdish friends in Iraq that we remain committed to them and how important they are to us. Judy, this official would not say whether they were reassured by that reassurance. Well, they're understandably asking questions after Absolutely. all this. Absolutely. Nick Schifrin, thank you. Thank you.